Hey everybody, this is Corinne coming to you with another video. Um, we are just about ready to pack it up for the season. It is November the 1st. Um, I think the highs today was in the 50s here in Ohio. Um, I think the low is going to be like 33, 32, something like that. So we decided we're going to take the day to just go ahead and pack it up. So Vic is working on getting ready for the winterizing part. And I'm in here getting the leftovers of what's left in the fridge. I always like to clear out everything that's left from our last trip. Looks like we got quite a bit, but not so much in the refrigerator. So what I'm going to do right now is get in here and get everything out and then I'm going to clean it up really good so we're not dealing with um, having to do that when we're ready to go back out. So we've been in here working on some different things. We know we do not want to winterize now, but with the fact that me and Vic, neither one of us really like the cold, um, we're not going to stretch it. So we love the spring and summer months, and we have definitely had a great spring and summer for 2021, in spite of everything that we're dealing with here. Um, not only here, but all over. Um, so we're, we decided, you know what, we're going to just wrap it up and get our uh, stuff in gear for next season. And um, we got some things already lined up. We got some more things to look at um and just get the ball run we'll probably have the majority of what we're going to do next year already booked by december um that's kind of our plan so we'll have all that already taken care of so when it's time to um hit the road we'll be ready uh, we may start in um in in maybe march or april and again, we're gonna keep an eye on the wind, on the weather, and see what that that entails for us. But um, as we go through the winter months, we will still be coming to you with videos of what we're what we may be doing um, on any particular weekend, um, any places we may go. Um, also, we're thinking about taking a, a a drive and just checking out a couple parks that we didn't get a chance to check out this year so we're going to look into that and um, maybe be able to add it to our list for next year and uh, we have quite a few parks that's not too far from us where we can just take us a little a quick drive so I did not want to get to this moment just yet but when I come out the house this morning to go to work and I was freezing <laughs> I figured we can go ahead and just shut her on down. And then, you know, if, if something's going on throughout the winter and it's not too awfully cold and um, someone's getting together or, you know, inviting folks out, then we may just de-winterize. You know, it's never out of the question. Um, so, but for now, we figure we're going to wrap it up. Um, we have a few things, a few add-ons we're going to add on throughout the uh, the winter or before next season. So we got our eye on a couple different things. And of course, we will share those things with you, what we decide to do. It's time to winterize. We're going to bring you along while uh, I do the winterize steps and uh, let you see what we're doing. Swap them. And there's G and G. So, we're going to winterize the Force River Vive 28RL, RL standing for Rear Living. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go around here and start opening up some valves, is the low point drain. And I have to get down underneath here. To open them up which is right here I already started to open it so you can see there's water dripping so we're gonna open them up and again once I get them over I'm gonna put once I get them open I'm gonna put pressure in the system 
I already have that hooked up. This kit you can buy from Amazon. This piece here, up to there. You get actually two pieces. And it's like 20 something dollars from Amazon. It's a winter RV winterization kit. All right. And got my compressor there with about 30 to 35 PSI to uh, clear out the, the lines, make sure there's no water in them. And then I'm going to remove this nano rod right here. I've already, uh, this is the pressure relief valve. I've already opened that up. I'm still, I'm gonna leave it open while I uh, take this off. And to take that off, you need, where are we? Right there. Yeah, there we go. One sixteenth size socket. I use a deep well because it's hard to get in here. I could put an extension on here, but I, I can get on here. And this is a half inch drive ratchet. And it's Craftsman, and Craftsman has the replacement tool if uh, it's broken. So, lifetime warranty on that tool here, the ratchet. So I'm going to go through the steps, um, show you what it did inside. Got three gallons of pink RV Marina antifreeze. Okay, for my pump, which is in the bathroom underneath the panel here, and my pump already has a hose for, I have to turn this lever here, put this hose here in the antifreeze and it sucks the antifreeze into uh, the RV lines. So. This is the, uh, the pump. And for our water tank, have to go into the bedroom. Had to take off this panel that covers this up because this is where our water tank is. And as you can see right there, that is your hot and then there's your cold. And to keep and freeze from going back into the tank. I have to turn this. That switch that way. And the one up top, same thing. Okay, so there will be no antifreeze going into the tank hot water tank so I will be right back so I took the off the low point drain hot cold how they took that off and as you can see it's draining and we're gonna apply some pressure to the system see if that forces out anymore <laughs> And you can even hear it. That is forcing all any air that's in the line out. So, 
we're gonna go we're gonna put these back on and then uh, go inside and I opened up that and there's the water that came out and here's the nano rod which needs to be replaced so we'll be doing that And you can see here the sediment that is in there. All right, I can see some on the inside there. If you look, right there. So that's why I have this kit to blow out on the inside there. To get all that out. Alright, be back. Okay, I've come in come inside now. And we're going to turn this valve here. Uh up. Oh. Here it goes. I'll tighten up. All right. Well, that gonna, that's going to open up uh, fluid. I mean, open up so that uh, the antifreeze here can be sucked up. Open this up. We'll take this, stick it inside here. Not all RVs have this type of system, so you have to, you know, look at it and figure out if yours has a setup like this, or you'll have to do it uh, kind of like manually. So what I need to do now, we'll open up a, we're going to do the shower first. We'll turn the pump on, and the shower is already on. So we'll turn the pump on, and you guys will see this start to suck up. As you can see, it's on. And keep doing this until we start getting... The pink and there it is and we shut it off we already got uh, the coolant inside the trap so you don't need to um, do any extra you can see how much was taken out just from that little bit there and we're going to do the sink next um, hot and then cold on this one we already have it kind of mixed the hot and cold mixed so it's good but we're gonna do this one that's the cold then we're gonna do the hot all right and once again you already got fluid in the trap here which is this this is the P trap right there in case you drop a ring anything like that important down there you can twist off these connectors one here one in the very back here to get out whatever you drop in there all right so next we're gonna go to the kitchen and we're gonna do the hot There's the pink stuff, and let's see how much is it. How much is left in here? I think we got enough. And we're gonna do the cold. Alrighty. And that is pretty much it. So. 
we can leave that in there. We'll leave it right there for right now. And that's our winterization. We oh no it's not because I forgot to do sorry. Forgot to do the toilet. Close the toilet. And there's the toilet. And we wanted to leave a little bit on the seals so the seals don't dry out. Now we are done. Okay. Sink. Shower. Toilet. And kitchen sink. All done. We are winterized. Okay, folks. So, turn this light off here. I hope uh, this helped you out. Um, or if you're new or your first time winterizing, I hope that helped you out a little bit. As you can see, I am kind of up in the air a little bit. House, cars, me. I'm working on putting the cover on. I already winterized. Now it's this time to put the cover on. And I got a lot to do. So, once I get the cover all put on, I will uh, let you see what it looks like. Okay, everybody, I am back. And I'm going to flip this around and let you see what we got. 